Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where I managed to get the battle to load. Just had to force quit the game and reload it after the uh, last episode. Um, the rally uh, has found a convoy probably a very long, 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 long way away. Yep. Um, so, how far are they? 50 kilometers. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so settle in while I prattle on about stuff. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, yeah, this is the battle that I was trying to trying to load up um, in the previous battle. I don't know what caused that crash. I mean, personally, I find Ultimate Admiral is pretty stable uh, in terms of crashes. Um, and there was a post a while ago. On the forums from Nick, the lead developer, saying, "Look, people keep saying there are a load of bugs, uh, but we're not seeing a lot of bugs." Because I think when he was using that term, he, he was kind of meaning, you know, crashes, you know, where the game would lock up or weren't able to progress and things like that. And I think what a lot of people, when they say, "Oh, there's a bug," mean an imbalance issue, particularly in the the current state of dreadnoughts. Um, I think most of what people are talking about and reporting is, is balance issues, which are, I have to be honest, especially if you're using the balance mod. I mean, the, the game's in a pretty good state right now, I'd, I'd have to say. Um, personally, I'm, I'm having lots of fun. Uh, yes, there are frustrations. Uh, <laughs> mines, submarines, land invasions, I think are all... A bit iffy. Um, and I'm not a massive fan of them, but uh, I think they're in many cases an unnecessary addition. But I mean, I, I like the ambition. <laughs> and I think it needs balancing, all that stuff. Um, for instance, you know, I've stopped using mines because they're so powerful. Um, that has helped me enjoy the campaign a little bit more because I'm not able to just lay hundreds and hundreds of mines everywhere. Um, <laughs> submarines I've never been a huge fan of anyway. Um... I just so I just don't use them, which is fine. Just make sure I put depth charges on all my ships. Oh, nice! Sink, sinking the, the Whitley there. Um, you know, it's uh, it's it's fine. And yeah, if you play a campaign with very long range ships and you mainly leave your ships in port, don't use the task forces too much, except when you want to launch an invasion or establish a blockade. Yeah, you generate loads of missions. Um, so I've kind of got a way of playing the game that um, I, I have lots of fun. And, and I'm very happy sitting, recording videos and, and making content because I'm enjoying the game. So uh, yeah, I, I think it's in a good state just now. Um, I think the features that they've been talking about for the six months plan. I mean, we, I'm recording this beginning of March. Uh, I reckon we'll probably see a single beta. This is pure conjecture, by the way. A single beta that is, you know, this is, this is the stuff that we promised we would put in for uh, the six month finishing off the game update. I don't know what else to call it. Um, here it is, beta. Uh, they said summer. So I'd imagine they want the beta to run. I'd imagine they would want to launch at least a month of it being live. So let's say that summer is June. End of June. So they want the thing live in June means the beta, I think, we'll see maybe in May. 
again, this is pure speculation and me reading tea leaves. Um, I think beta, they would probably, if I was them, I'd aim to release it in May, beginning of May, and means that we're probably a month away from hearing, you know, getting patch notes or anything like, or, or any news or anything like that. I think they've been doing a lot of work. Um, 1.2.4 is has been a big improvement. Um, and uh, like I was saying earlier, there's still balancing issues. Uh, for instance, submarines, I think, would be better if they generated battles a lot less and killed transports a lot more. Um, <laughs> right, the immortality is just running away. Uh, I don't want to risk any more damage to the Raleigh, so we'll content ourselves with destroying the Whitley and the two transports. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that we get stuff beyond the the old uh, six months. I beg, beg them. I will beg them. <laughs> Hands and knees, please include mod support uh, if you're going to drop the game uh, from kind of active development. Uh, let modders take over, and I think it's a win-win. Uh, I will always make that case. I love modding games. Pretty much everything I play. Uh, whatever game it is, I will try and mod it if I can. And um, having uh, good mod support can just make a game last so much longer. Right, Newfoundland, go. Okay, so that should generate a naval invasion on St. John's. Let's just move the fleet right next to it. Uh, the Gilberts should be finished next month, uh, so we should be able to, there, that was the Eastern Gilberts, then we should be able to go and hit the Western Gilberts, or possibly Fiji, but I think I'd rather take, uh, not either, to be honest. Right, we've also got two convoy attacks, one right up here. <laughs> um, the Royal Oak and the Essex, another pretty chunky convoy. A lot of convoy battles. It's kind of indicative of the fact that the Anglo-French-Austrian alliance is, well, struggling, shall we say. No, oh, we've all got lots of shells. Uh, let's detach the Tacoma and put the AI ships on AI control, or the allied ships on AI control. Um, yeah, see, it's a, it's a nice looking vessel. I'll be honest, is this one of the 18 inch ones? It's looking at that weird graphics issue should report that actually um it's a, it's a hard one to to get well I'll, I'll try just pause the game because it does work when it's paused uh, report bug this is a graphics issue flag transparency flags becoming transparent um all flags on ships become transparent when lined up with the horizon. See screenshots, maps, graphics. Okay, right. No sign of the transports yet, though. Really, child, get out of the way. Tss. 
I'm also really interested to see what the developers are uh, up to. And you know, they mentioned, you know, UI improvements. Um, that would be really welcome, particularly on the campaign map. I think the battle UI is actually fine. Um, apart from maybe this, <laughs> I, I regularly get frustrated with organizing divisions and things. Uh, sometimes it acts in really weird ways. You know, you pick up one division and it picks up two. Um, double clicking on a ship and then accidentally merging divisions and stuff like that. Just can be a little bit frustrating. Um, happens a little bit too much for me, but other than that, I think the uh, UI in battles is fine. Oh, uh, tooltips. Like that. That's the only other thing, I'd say. I mean, I am playing this on 1440p. But, yeah, tooltips regularly you'll will appear. Particularly the main gun tooltip. It's a really long-ranged gun. You won't be able to see the calibre the length information because it'll be disappeared off the top where you can't sometimes you can't see the uh, tech level no 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 don't 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 be silly you don't need to use the 10 inch guns on the transports 10 inch guns on the battleship please the edge of our range so I'm not expecting miracles from that and now they're like no we're going to shoot the transports no no shooting the transports is it because it moved out of range yeah right, turn your main guns off again then Not interested in the battleships, especially if they're, or the escorts, if they're just going to run off. But potentially getting the UK's GDP so low that they disappear, even if it is temporary. I mean, France has come back, but completely ruined. Um, getting the UK to disappear is a big deal because even if they do reappear, they only get what their core province which is usually going to be the southeast of England or something like that um, all of their colonial possessions will disappear um, and become ungoverned which is a huge boon for us as we can let the State Department take over and uh, suggest mutual cooperation and such nudge nudge wink wink um <laughs> Childs opening up on the transports. Yeah, we'll just move in. Destroy the transports. And see if we can take out that battleship. Wouldn't normally bother with the escorts on a mission like this, as I have been. I've just been killing the transports. But a battleship, that would might be worth having a pot. Reduce their power projection significantly. Um,
Right. Convoy destroyed. Where is that battleship? Royal Oak. Uh, see, the annoying thing is, if she decides to run away, she's just about fast enough that... Well, we are a little bit faster, but... We can't um, do much about it. Let's see if she changes course now that the... Uh, convoys destroyed. Nope, she's off. Right, we'll end the battle there then. Not going to be able to chase her down. Uh, I'm quite happy with just obliterating the transports. Charts, again, proving that she's a pretty good convoy raider. Destroyers, by the way, apart from their lack of range, make excellent convoy raiders. If you're playing a European country, destroyers are perfect for attacking enemy convoys because the range is not as important. Um, Mediterranean, Bay of Biscay, Baltic, North Sea kind of area. Um, it's really only if you're trying to raid, you know, if you want to be able to generate lots of battles and, you know, I'm sailing from Gibraltar up to the channel <laughs> to do it, that you want the, the cruisers and that. Um, Right, Milwaukee has found yet another convoy. Huzzah. Always, always good to just get in there and blow up some civilian ships. Put the hurt on the British economy as much as possible. These Detroit class, though, I mean, you'd have to be, you'd have to be insane, <laughs> certifiably insane, to want to take one of these on. If you're a British cruiser uh, captain, really pleased with how these are booked. Ten-inch gun, not something I normally use, but. Uh, yeah, proven remarkably effective. And yeah, the 12 gun ABXY triple. Again, not something I commonly use. Um, but uh, very much a, a US thing. Uh, that was their kind of go-to preferred armament layout. Um, and they would drop this turret, a wide turret, if they had to, for usually speed concerns. But this is what they preferred to run with. Um, it, it definitely, uh, it definitely works. Again, the British escorts. I don't know if they think, oh, maybe the Americans will chase us and leave the transports alone. Um, or what they think is going to happen. But they've uh, surely had enough examples now to realise that the uh, tactic does not work. <laughs> We will absolutely beeline for the transports. Oh, what a shot. Main deck pen for 10,000 damage. Pretty low hit chance as well. Well, it was. Obviously, that ship is now pretty crippled. Slowing down. That means we'll be able to smack them up. Yep. 
Down it goes. Meanwhile, the transports are getting shredded. <laughs> Absolute constant barrage of fire. This is real time, by the way. Slow down. It's the Wessex. It's the recipient. It just hordes of those uh, forty millimeter shells. <laughs> Makes me almost wish that aircraft were in the game just to see how this would perform as an AA armament. <laughs> Right, transport successfully murdered. The town doesn't look like she's making a getaway. Maybe we can engage her. The uh, fearless, long gone. Showing no inclination to get closer to a range where she can do anything. So again, I don't really understand their AI logic there. Oh, bang! <laughs> main main deck pen. <laughs> That's got to hurt. And four deck pen. And two more. <laughs> it's like you've got six inch guns, staying at a range where you can't even shoot. It's not going to be super effective. The uh, trying to just blow the ship clean in half with those shots. Down she goes. Might as well, uh, you know, finish the job. Nicely done. A uh, little bit of uh, experience for the Lithuanian destroyers as well. Thank you, by the way, to uh, those of you in the comments who were very insistent you could launch multiple naval invasions. Um, I'm not sure what the issue was. I definitely tried, and it didn't seem to work. Um, some people have said that it's sort of like a random chance that it you can't do it. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's hope, fingers crossed, next turn we get multiple, because that would be extremely nice. To be able to do, I'd probably leave it to two because more than that, it's going to get irritating. But um, yeah, being able to launch multiple naval invasion—that's that is you really useful because um, potentially you could queue up a whole bunch of them and then just you know shock and awe launch a, a massive assault, which is quite interesting. Uh, really, <laughs> Wolfsburg, I think. You're not going to last very long with this. Some gunnery practice. <laughs> the AI hates being blockaded. But that is just dumb. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen a <laughs> computer do. Yep. Oh! Oh shit. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Send the Constitution to hunt her down. She's at the back of the fleet. She's uh, pretty good at chasing down ships. Oh, we've got a hit already. 14 inch shell from the Colorado. Lucky. Oof. 
Didn't go through the armor. Again, very lucky. Chipped him again. <laughs> Over pen. I'll try some high explosive. Oh yeah, we probably won't have the range, will we? So many of the shells going long. Ooh. How's Constitution doing? Getting there. Oh, we're not at full speed, that's why. I was wondering why she was like Oh, never mind, she was obliterated by the Montana. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Oh, and multi-core. Multi-core. Oh, please, move the multi-core. Um, <laughs> um, Raleigh has found the immortality. Uh, I think they faced off against each other before. The immortality was a ship that we we engaged but weren't able to destroy is that right or did, was it a transport guarding a transport rather you need some uh, tlc my friend oh is this them finishing the battle off rallies found the enemy ship later on that's quite possible it's a straggler but I'm not sure we are fast enough to catch up to it. 34 dots for us. I forgot to check how fast they could go. Might can check on the range, can't we? Yeah. Range is increasing slowly. So that is a ghost battle. Well, at least we're able to see them. Thank you, Balance Mod, uh, and see what's happening. But <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's a battle that's going nowhere. Shame that the uh, immortality is not prepared to uh, not prepared to give the uh, Raleigh here a fight. But kind of understand. You know, it's only a heavy cruiser. <laughs> Light cruiser scares it off. Seems uh, totally reasonable, given the uh, outcomes of most battles. And they are heavily damaged. Yeah, there we go. Can't see them. Times 30. Na, 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 na. Just need to wait for the time into it. Time out. <laughs> So we agree to disagree and battle.
Uh, yeah. <laughs> Still placing stuff. Um, no. Yes. Yeah, we take the Gilberts. Nigeria's independent, can't trade. Okay. Just not quite sure what causes that. Um, actually, let's just hop into the Baltic screen. Uh, British Empire, yeah, no naval invasion possible right now. Let's go hit Fiji. Uh, where's my second naval invasion? Damn it. This is the problem I was running into. Do you know what? Um, move everybody back to San Francisco. Because you all need refits anyway. Uh, let's get all the rest of this stuff done. And then uh, we'll try doing it one at a time. I think it's just because I have an old save. So yes, you can launch multiple naval invasions. Why are you not actually going into the port? <laughs> um, right, a whole bunch of battles um, around the UK, including two right on top of each other. Let's do the port strike uh, on, wait, on Barry. Barry's here. Why is the port strike marker here? Should be down here on, well, Bristol, basically. Okay, Northampton leading uh, some Lithuanian and Belgian units. Should be doable. <laughs> Just pressing one, by the way, if you're wondering uh, what button I'm hitting. It just puts them on AI control. As once again, a Detroit class heads out to uh, deal some damage. They might just be running. Oh, excuse me, that's my door. I'm back in a second. Alright, I am back. Apologies for the weird queen, green, green, green square. That is the NVIDIA software being stupid. Yeah, it looks like they want me to engage in a running battle for now. See if we can close in a little bit. Side on now. Look at that chatteriness again. Hmm. At least it feels like it. Very strange. Let's get. Target that one instead. Might have a better chance. I spotted the destroyers. Bang! Nice hit. <laughs> it's 
splash one. Absolute lack of aggression here. Really don't think the uh, AI knows what to do in this situation. It's getting fired on, doesn't want to close in for whatever reason. It's just getting picked off. Save your ammunition, Northampton. And <laughs> just as they say that gets a couple of hit couple of hits in. Going for the light cruiser. Well, she is damaged. I think this do with when a ship is selected. Getting a little bit of stuttering. I still think it's something to do with this diagram up here, or possibly the loading calculations, I don't know. Anyway, hopefully multi-threaded support will fix all of Dreadnought's performance uh, issues. Definitely looking forward to that. Comus. Too slow to avoid being shot to bits. And sunk. Cheeky. Doing a maneuver after getting that hit. Accuracy goes way down. Shoot out the recruit. Just looks like she's stationary. And firing torpedoes. Why she'd uh, stopped out of fuel, maybe? British having uh, fuel supply problems, perhaps? Niobe deciding to serpentine to throw off the guns. Partial pens. I think we're firing HE at her because of the angle. for secondary talent. And took out a gun. I wish I had a Lexington around. Perfect for this situation. 
uh, or uh, Liberation, to be honest. They're even longer range, even more accurate guns. Oh, nice. Torpedo deck. She's coming in now. Realised that I guess her only option is to attack, but she's uh, not really got the firepower for it with no torpedoes. Turn broadside, and give it all 12 barrels. Oh, sunk. Anyway, uh, never mind. <laughs> no need for that. <laughs> yeah, Northampton just completely, they got one hit right at the end. Um, otherwise, a complete destruction. Good stuff. Uh, what else we got? Convoy. Co oh, a lot of convoys. Battle has all cruisers. All cruiser stuff. Cruisers and destroyers and that. I guess we're just at that stage of the conflict where the Royal Navy is spread so thin that everything is kind of spread out. They don't really have a concentration of force to... Uh, engage our larger fleets or larger fleet units it's just the Gibraltar squadron constantly chipping away at chipping away at them actually are trying to engage us or not. Palestro firing torpedoes. Interesting. See some enemy torpedoes coming out. coffee on the Milwaukee as we just wait for the enemy to come into range. The gun has something to do.
disengage the Theseus. Oh, the turret got stuck, for goodness sake. I don't know how to fix that. Uh, strike guns off and guns on. Uh, change target. Or retarget. Change target. And AI on off. All good troubleshooting steps to try if you do encounter a problem with one of your ships. But it looks like they just decide to get stuck. I'd love to see a definitive fix of that. One of the more irritating errors, because you lose half the firepower on your ship for no reason. Try the other side. Nope. You can say where they're pointing. Hey! Flash fire. Nice. So our primary prey. Nice hit on the Amazon. Catastrophic damage. Not sure why the secretaries aren't fine. Looks like they're locked in place as well. Just sometimes get that problem where your guns lock in place. It's a little bit irritating. Torpedo missed wasn't even paying attention to. <laughs> and the light cruiser, the Cairo, looks like she's running away. Oh, nice hit. Bit of flooding damage even. How fast is she actually able to go? 30 knots, so we'd need another hit on her to seal her fate. Try HE, given the angle and the ammunition. back to automatic now that they've stopped wiggling everywhere good hits I think that'll seal her fate got it lovely right well I'm going to take a quick gander at the political situation, and then I think I'm going to end the episode out there. We'll do a couple of those. We'll do the convoys next next time. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, France. <laughs> that GDP is looking pretty perilous. austria hungary is not looking great either, especially with zero ships. Um, the British again. The economy is declining. Oh, so it says the growth here is fine. They're constantly taking lumps. Again, no naval invasion option. Just... Just weird. Right. I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.